Hello my amazing YouTube family. Today we are going to build a custom login slash registration page slash light box type of feel. I'll show you when we actually get in and do that. Now before we actually head into the meat of this video, two things. First, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. There are a ton of Wix code tutorials coming. Don't forget to hit that little uh, bell icon to turn on notifications so you're notified when I release a new video because sometimes YouTube likes to get a little funky and forgets to notify people, including subscribers. So make sure you turn that on. And then the second thing is, so for all of you that have followed my previous Wix code tutorials, I usually post the code that I use in a Google Docs spreadsheet. Well, that method worked, but then a lot of people didn't give access to. So for any of you that have been following me recently, you know I just launched my free Wix Training Academy, which can be found at wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below. That is this website right here. But there is an actual member section of this website, and that's what the whole academy is full of content. In there is where you can now find the code snippets for the videos, tutorials, of which code that I produce. Now, to do this, you go up here to Academy, and then you'll be prompted to either book a strategy session call with me or access the Academy. In this case, we're going to access the Academy. When you're in here, you will then be redirected to your dashboard. There has now been a new button added right over here called Code Snippets, right under your member profile card. You can go there, click Code Snippets, and then right here in this today's video, Custom Login Lightbox, you would simply press Get Code, and then voila, just simply copy the code right from there, and you've got your code. And that is how you get access to the code from today's video. Now let's hop into the actual video itself. So we are going to create a custom login and we are going to use a light box to create this custom login. So why is this unique? What is special about this? Well, instead of using Wix's generic login page to get redirected to a members area, a, a profile page, anything like that, we're now going to use our own custom login light box in this case. You can make a page too if you wanted, but for the example, we are going to use a light box. And what happens is, is once we create this light box, we're going to create two fields, an email field and a password field, and then we're going to have a button. And I'm going to show you how to do all that in a second. But when that's clicked, what happens is a notification is then sent directly into Wix CRM. So that email is directly added to your site member list. So first things off the bat, you need to make sure that your site member settings are set correctly. So if you want to approve each new member, you need to make sure it's set up to where you approve each new member. If you want each new member to be automatically approved so they instantaneously get access to whatever's on the other side of that login, you need to make sure that is set up correctly. So in order to do that, we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna go to a page. I'm gonna go to this testing page and I'm gonna go to the settings. When I do that, I'm gonna go to permissions and members only. And we're going to see right here, member sign up settings. Well, we're going to click that and we want to make sure if that is set to, they get instantaneous access, it's set to everyone. If you want to approve each new member, you click people I approve, but we're going to have it just set to everyone. So now we're going to click done. So this testing page is going to be used as our testing page for after we log in to make sure that people are redirected to this page. So I'm going to just throw something simple on here just to make it so it's not a blank page. So we know the difference between the home page and the testing page for the redirect purposes after we click that button in the example. So to do that, I'm just simply going to add a strip on this page to differentiate it and I'll just write testing on the strip. It's gonna be nice, clean, easy. This again is used for example in testing purposes. So we know that our code works. You'll see why once we get to that point. 
So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna name this testing. I'm I'm kind of particular, so I'm gonna make it center, I'm gonna make it bigger, we're gonna utilize this space. Okay, so this testing here is gonna be our redirect page. So after someone logs in, they should be redirected to this testing page. Now what we have to do is we actually have to go create our light box. This is going to be our custom login light box slash page. Again, you can create a page if you'd like. The code applies the exact same. You're gonna use the exact same fields. It would just be a page instead of a light box. It comes down to preference and how the design and flow of your website works. But we're gonna use a light box. So we're gonna come here to add we're gonna scroll down to Lightbox here, and then we're gonna find a Lightbox that works best for us. In this case, I'm gonna use this Contact Skateboard Lightbox. I kinda of like it, like the design. Now, we're gonna delete this, we're gonna delete this, we're gonna delete this, and we're just gonna say for this, register. Because technically, this is a custom registration page, um, that's, that's more in particular what this will be used for, for people to actually register and then get access straight onto your website. So we're going to use it as a custom registration page. Once we've got that down, we need to go ahead and add our two fields, which are going to be email and password for the example of this video. Again, these fields are going to directly correspond into the Wix CRM so that way it notes that this person is now a site member. I'll even show you the notification I received from the Wix app on my phone once we test it. You'll see it, it says blah, 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 just became a site member or blah, 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 just requested to be a site member. So now we have this register and we need to go actually get our custom input fields. So the nice thing about this guys is the use of databases is not ever needed for this tutorial in particular. However, if you did want to have these buttons or these fields, excuse me, linked to the Wix CRM and a database, you can do that, but that's a separate tutorial, separate time. In this case, we're just gonna have it sync with the Wix CRM, not a database too. So this information will not be stored in a database. It will, however, go straight to Wix CRM once again. Just want to clarify. So we're going to go here to add and we're going to go get our user input fields. I'm going to get this one right here. So this is going to be our email field and I'm just going to copy and paste and this will be our password field. In addition to both of those, we need a button. This button is going to submit and send it to Wix CRM and also redirect us on click to, in this case, the testing page. Now you're going to have it redirect to the page that you need it to be redirected to. So we're going to go ahead and get our button. We go to add. You can add any button. There's none in particular. You can see I already created this. This was my test site before. We're going to get our button here. We're going to center it. I'm going to make it a little wider and I'm going to go ahead and rename it to register. Okay. So we need rename that to register. We're going to leave the button B for right now. We're going to change these input types. One, I'm going to change the placeholder text to email, and we're going to change the type up here to email. Perfect. That's complete. That field is now done. The only other things you guys need to do to that field is change the design if you want. Uh, but that's not required. Obviously, you can use the preloaded design if you'd like, or you can change it. Now for the password, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come in here, change the placeholder text. We're going to change it to password. And then we're going to go here and change the type to password. Password in this type means it will give those little radio dots. So it won't actually show the text like it's a password, it'll just show those dots. I'll show you in the example. That's what happens when you change that type to password. So now that's set. Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and I'm gonna change the property names. So you see here where it says hashtag input one, okay? So this properties panel, 
This is, by the way, the first time we've really ever used the properties panel in one of my videos. I'm gonna finally introduce it to you. This little guy over here is activated when you turn your Wix code tools on. So the properties panel does actually play an important part. I know my videos before kind of downplayed it. In this video, it's going to be an important part. So where this says ID, you can see when I now click on this, the ID changes to input one because that is the JavaScript ID. I'm gonna change that ID to email. Again, you can change this to whatever you want, but you have to make sure your JavaScript code that I'm about to show you corresponds with this ID and this field. So you need to know that this field is hashtag email. Okay, so in this case, it's hashtag email. For password, I'm gonna change it to hashtag password. So what these IDs are is their naming tools. In the beginning phases, I recommend you follow, you know, exact IDs that I provide you. So that way it's just easy to follow and easy to translate the code over because these are the exact IDs that I used in my code. So that way you guys don't have to change anything in your code other than the redirect location, which is easy and I'll show you how to do. So we're gonna change that one to password and we're gonna change the button to register. So now we have a email password register, okay? So now we've got our three buttons set, we've got our field set and we've got our IDs set in our properties panel. The last thing we need to do is actually add the code. So I already have the code as I mentioned once before. I'm gonna go to my previous light box grab that code quick, and then explain it to you real fast so you get a good understanding of what this code is and what it's used for. By the way, I do wanna shout out Future Vision Web. He originally made a video for this and inspired me to go ahead and make one for you guys. So Sakis out there, shout out to you. Um, great videos as always. Wix code, JavaScript wizard as always. Uh, so thank you for that. So now let me explain this code to you. Again, this is the code I provided in that Wix training academy. Um, so we're gonna import Wix users from Wix users. This calls that Wix user, Wix CRM, import from Wix location. This is all the back end Wix location stuff. So this is how you get it to the CRM, this and that. Um, then we have our on ready function. So on ready, when the light box is ready, we want uh, the on click function to happen. So on click is for this button. So you can see SW register. So when this button is clicked, the following will happen. Uh, email, the value of email and the value of password. So the values inputted in these fields will be sent to the Wix CRM. Following that, you see it says dot then. Then, after that has happened, we want Lix location two, and this is where that last part lies. Wix location two, so it's dot then, so code is really a bunch of if then statements. So when this happens, then we want the user to be redirected, in this case two, so dot two, and then you'll see mine says backslash test, testing. So in the code, you're actually gonna use the page extensions. So if you have a, a page and then a sub page, it's gonna be backslash that page, backslash whatever your sub page is. In this case, it's the URL backslash testing. Testing is the page they're going to. So you need to make sure this code right here, one, it starts with a backslash and then it corresponds with whatever the SEO, whatever the actual search engine page is when it pops up. It'll say backslash something when you ver view the live version of that. So you need to get that backslash something, whatever that backslash is for your website, your pages, 
that's what you need to put here because after your user clicks this button, they're gonna be redirected to that page. For a lot of you, it's gonna probably be backslash a profile page, backslash a dynamic page, backslash a dashboard, backslash a members area, something like that. Not those words in particular. I mean the actual page it is for you, but likely for most of you, you're gonna use this as a tool to go backslash to one of those type of pages. So make sure you correspond that correctly. If you have any questions about that, please write that in the comments below so that way I can assist you with it. Or feel free, once you're in the Wix Training Academy, to go to our community page and ask the community in our forum. Preferably, that would be the best method, so that way we can get some interaction between everyone on that forum. But that is how you do it. That is what this code means. These are the brackets, the encode, the parentheses to end the functions in the code, stuff like that. Again, that is the code that we're going to use for this tutorial. Now, let's view it in action, shall we? Um, now, I guess I should probably deactivate one of these light boxes and change the trigger so that way we don't get both of them pop up at once. We're gonna have that one, no, okay. But we're gonna have this light box trigger, yes. So we're gonna publish and we're gonna go view site and watch this. Okay, so it's gonna prompt. The light box will be triggered. Maybe. Okay, let's go double check this. Let's see here. Uh, what is the triggers for less light box delay? Aha, okay. So that was the reason it was set here to what page is this set on? It was set on testing page, not the home page. So we want this to be the home page for the case of this video. So now, if we go publish this, we can go click view site, and there will be a delay, and there we go. There is the pop-up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna input the email, we're gonna see if it works. So I'm gonna go test at test.com, and then the password is gonna be testing. Click register. Aha, we're redirected to that testing page. And there we go, guys. Just wanna show you the notification. Test at test.com. So we can now see is now a site member at video testing. I don't know if you can see that, but I just wanted to show you as an example there. We get the Wix notification immediately as soon as that happens. And that is our custom login light box slash page, depending on what you do. Guys, this is a very powerful tool. It's awesome to have this capability with JavaScript. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing that allows us to create stunning websites with awesome complex functionality in Wix. If this video helped you out, drop a like down below, guys. I love to see those thumbs ups. Next thing is don't forget to comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe here to Wix Training Academy. Turn that notification bell on so you're notified of our new videos, my new videos, excuse me, and you get these awesome Wix code tutorials because I have a bunch rolling. Building a social network in Wix is coming right down the pipe. And once again, wixtrainingacademy.com is where you can find the code snippet you actually have to go to that academy page once you're there click that it'll prompt you to register so that's sign up sign up or log in log in and then again you'll be taken to the my dashboard page after that prompt page and click code snippets come here get code and then you'll get that custom login code that we just used in this video and if you use the same exact fields same exact property names you don't even have to change a single line of code. You keep it as is and you roll with it. I hope this video helped you guys out. I look forward to catching you on the next one. Adios.